Hi friends, Marin with Into Mobile. Yahoo announced multiple products today for mobile and tablets. The one that really caught my eye was LiveStand because we had seen a bit of this before and this digital magazine is finally out in the App Store and it looks like an interesting way to consume your content on the web on your tablet. So right now it's iOS only. I've signed in, I've linked my Facebook account with this but you can also set up other users on there. Uh, I guess a dog if you want it. Uh, the the beauty of this is that it will it will save your account and your news stories. So if you sign in on a on a friend's iPad on the Live Stand app, your mix of stories will be there. So right away you notice it's very visually pleasing. This is pretty much all HTML5 down here. Very responsive. Looks pretty. These are some of your news sources. My library. You can adjust those. And these are these are featured on Live Stand. Explore all the content. We'll click on those in a second. And then this is how you can add new stuff to your library. Let's go with sports. Ball don't lie. Always good. And then you see down there, add it to your library. Uh, we'll go over these little menus. This does back, of course. This will bookmark content for you, and this will let you switch your user, which I don't want to do. So here's my personal mix. This lets you look at your, you know, obviously the things that you want to add to it. Um, you can add multiple topics on here. There, one of, one of the issues I've had with this app in my brief time with it are the multiple different UI layouts. They're very, they're very pretty and uh, very magazine-like, particularly this, because this is a, a blog about basketball, and it's a very interesting. I like it a lot. You have your guide there. But if you notice, each pretty much each page and each uh, story has kind of a different layout which isn't they all generally fit within the live stand aesthetic but sometimes it takes a little bit like oh wait wait where am I going or what am I doing there so this is a, a web page this is a blog about NBA and you can see how it's formatted differently this one doesn't actually work that well in my opinion I think it could be done it could be done better but this perhaps this is not the best example of the type of content that can shine on on this app. Let's go back to the home. Nice little animations in between. Uh, let's see what So here you have your table of contents. You can hop to you can hop to stories or stuff that you want. These are your news feeds that are going through. This this uh, UI is pretty consistent with with all of the featured players in there. So if I wanted to go to Forbes, you notice that that's there as well. And you notice know, the Twitter there, it also integrates with your social networks or with these publication social networks so they can, I'm not sure if this story will have it, but it'll lay out the news story here in sort of this magazine layout, which looks pretty nice. And then there'll also be integrated tweets from, say, the author or the publication itself. This is a story about Kim Kardashian. It's great. So overall, very nice effort from Yahoo. Um, going to spend a lot more time with this and just get to know the the positives and negatives of it. But that's a quick look at Yahoo Live Stand for the iPad. Thanks for watching.